In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the patterns Sabina and Gather. These are also used as name tags for stockings, but in this case, it is a nameplate. Hi friends, and welcome back. Today, I wanna to show you how to make these peekaboo nameplates. First thing we're gonna do is click and find a font. The name I wanna do is Sabina. Okay. I'm going to do Times New Roman because I like how it looks. Let's go ahead and make our font as big as we'd like. All right. So for today, I have gone ahead and written everything that you're going to do. It says make word and ungroup. Let's ungroup it then. All right, it's ungrouped. It says make and duplicate a rectangle. Over here is the rectangle. You're gonna click on it. And then you're going to make a rectangle. Now remember, I said I was gonna duplicate it. So what I did was I just went up here and I clicked the select so that I can select it in order to duplicate it. All right. So now before we even get started, um, I'm going to make everything black. Okay. I've made both rectangles black, the word is black, everything is going to be black. So this first rectangle, I'm going to go ahead and make it taller. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it just like this over Sabina, okay? Let's go ahead and put it over Sabina. Now I'm gonna select the name and the rectangle and I'm gonna right click and press make compound path. All right, so let me zoom in a little so you can see better. Move over and just in case, zoom in again. <laughs> just want to make sure that you guys can see what's going on here. So, here goes our second rectangle. If I was to cut this right now, when I cut here, I'd be chopping off the tops. You see, if I was to go like that, I would chop off the B, the I, N, A, S. So now we're going to take that second rectangle. Let's go ahead and scrunch it down a little. We need a little more meat on this name. So now that I've done that, you see this red line right here? That's letting us know it's still two different items. There's the Sabina that we had before I put this on, and there's this rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and select. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and select everything, meaning the rectangle and the name. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to weld. All right, now that we've welded, let me show you really quick how I can tell it is one item. You click on it and click line arc. And you see, I would be cutting here. I'd cut all of these things right here. Okay. And then I would cut on the outside. Oh, these first. And then I'd cut the whole outside. Now, I know that this is still here. Let me go ahead and turn this black again. You need to click on whatever you're going to manipulate. Okay. Now, what I want to do with this, I don't want a simple dot. Instead, I'm going to make, I'm going to use a font. I made a capital Y. I'm going to highlight it. And over here, I'm going to Webdings. That's W-E-B-D-I-N-G-S. 
I absolutely love that this font makes shapes. Let's make this black as well so it blend in. Okay, let's do away with the duct. Let's go ahead. I'm going to turn my heart just a little. Let's see. All right, now I'm going to weld. Okay, now it is one object. Okay, so I have Sabina done, but along with Sabina, I would like to put this. So I found this on the internet. And what I'm going to do is trace it. So remember, you go over here to open trace window. You select the trace area. And then I only want this part of it. And remember, you turn off the high pass filter. You take scale down to four, which is as low as it will go. And you make sure that you use your threshold and get rid of all the edges. Make sure everything is yellow. Then you will click trace. Now I'm moving the original. This is what's left. I want to release my compound path because I only want this stuff. I don't want these little pieces on the bottom. So I just deleted them. And guess what? Now this is mine. Okay. So. I'd like to put this right up under Sabina. Not under, you'll see what I mean in a second. I wanna put it right here, okay? All right, now I'm going to select Sabina and this. I'm going to right click on it and say, make compound path. Now, guess what? This too will be cut out, all right? Well, what I'm going to do is on my next video, I will show you Sabina completed, all right? But for now, we're going to move her to the side. Let's go ahead and move her to the side. Now, the reason why I have the word autumn and November here is because I notice a lot of people doing the word gather and you know things like that. I know people like that. So let's go ahead and do hmm, duplicate this. This is actually the font. I just put the name of what font we're using. So, get rid of that. And let's just put gather. All right. All right. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and weld this. Okay. Now I'm going to make it the size that we want. We're going to follow these directions. Okay. It says, make word and ungroup. So this can't be ungrouped. We're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Make word and ungroup. Then it says, make and duplicate a rectangle. I'm gonna make a rectangle, the size that I need. I'm gonna go over here and click that. Let's go ahead and turn this black, okay? So now I'm gonna duplicate that rectangle. Actually, let's make this one bigger. Okay. Now we'll make 
make them both, whoops, make them both wider because this might be a really nice like table sign for Thanksgiving or Christmas. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put it up to right here. Now I'm gonna select both. Remember, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say make compound path. Here we go. We have the second part that we wanna use. I'm gonna scrunch it down a little and we're gonna put it up here. All right. Now I'm gonna pull it down just a little. All right, I'm gonna select both and weld. All right, now we have gather, okay? But let's say we wanna put something on there besides just gather. How about, um, I did say, something over here to work on. Here we go. We have hollies. Okay. Now in order to use the holly, I found this on the internet as well. And in order to use the holly, I will need to trace it. So again, I'm going over here to open the trace window. I click on select trace uh, area. Turn off the high pass filter. Take your scale all the way down to four. And I will now move. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to press trace. You guys, I keep doing the same things over and over again because I want to get you used to doing these things just, you know, automatically. I'm going to release the compound path because I only want the holly. I don't want this. And I don't want these. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of these two. They're gone. So now I'm gonna take my holly. Whoops. I'm gonna take my holly and I'm gonna click on make compound path. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna put it over here. Here, let's make this a little bigger so we can all see. All right, can you see the holly? I hope you guys can. So I'm trying to click on my holly because let me show you real quick. If I click on my holly, I can take this and rotate it the way I like. Okay, and I like it like this. Now that the holly's there, I will select the holly and the word gather. And remember, what do we do? You right click and say make compound path. And look at that. Okay, you can put that on the table. You can make a, a really big one. If you make the sides longer, you can drill and put holes for a candle, or I don't know, I don't know, make holes for greenery. You never know. So next time we're together, I'd like to show you guys how I, whoops, how I made this, okay? So you can do this inside of a heart or you can do your face or pictures inside of a word. Until then, you guys enjoy your holidays. And I will see you guys right after Christmas, okay? If you need to talk to me, I am on Instagram under Mytoya in California.